today's data driven world the ability to turn raw data into actionable insight is a superpower and at the heart of this transformative process lies etl which stands for extract transform and load but with data growing at an unprecedented rate traditional etl methods are struggling to keep up aws clue is the dynamic solution that's changing the game aws clue is a fully managed service offered by amazon web services meaning that it can automatically handle server and resource provisioning, scaling and monitoring. In this video, I'll teach you the basics of ETL process, how to get started with AWS Glue. We'll also look into the basics of Glue data catalog, set up crawlers and create an ETL job to extract data from sources like S3 and transform it into a format that is easy to analyze. So let's dive right in and get started. ETL or Extract, Transform and Load is a data integration process that has been around for over 20 years. It was first developed in 1980s to help businesses integrate data from the various operational systems into a centralized data warehouse. ETL works by first extracting the data from source systems. This data is then transformed into a format that is compatible with the target data warehouse. Once the data is transformed, it is loaded into the target data warehouse where advanced analytics use cases can be performed. ETL process can be quite complex and time consuming, but they are essential for businesses that need to integrate data from multiple sources into a single location. ETL is widely used today, but it has evolved in recent years to meet the needs of modern businesses. For example, many ETL tools now support cloud-based data warehouses, which makes it easier and more affordable for businesses to implement ETL solutions. AWS Clue is the most popular serverless data integration service from AWS, which makes it easy for users to discover, analyze, catalog, integrate, and transform the data into their own desired format. And many organizations are preferring to use serverless ETL, which means there is no infrastructure to manage. You don't need to provision, configure, or spin up your own servers. So organizations can only focus on the application development and not worry about any administrative activity of the server. Now, there are three important components AWS Glue relies on to create and manage your extract, transform, and load workflow. A data store is a repository for persistently storing your data. Examples include Amazon S3 buckets and relational databases. A data source is a data store that is used as input to a process or transform. And a data target is a data store that a process or transform writes to. AWS Glue Data Catalog is a persistent metadata store in AWS Glue. It contains table definitions, job definitions, and other control information to manage your AWS Glue environment. And each AWS account has one AWS Glue data catalog per region. And finally, a crawler is a program that connects to a data store and determines the schema for your data, and then creates metadata tables in the AWS Glue data catalog. Glue provides crawlers with automatic schema inference for your semi-structured and structured sets. Crawlers automatically discover all your data sets discover your file types, extract the schema, and store all this information in a centralized metadata catalog for later querying and analysis. Glue also automatically generates the scripts that you need to extract, transform, and load your data from source to target, so you don't have to start from scratch. Imagine you are a retail company and you want to analyze your customer purchase data to understand which products are most popular and which demographics are spending the most money. Your purchase data is stored in an S3 bucket in a semi-structured format like JSON. And your customer profile data is stored in RDS database in structured relations such as Aurora or Postgres. You can use AWS Glue to move all of this data into Snowflake and analyze it. Glue provides crawlers that can automatically discover your data sets, infer the data structures inside your files, and extract all of the schema information. This information is stored in centralized metadata catalog, which you can then use to generate the scripts you need to extract, transform, and load your data into a data warehouse such as Snowflake. Glue can also flatten all semi-structured data, no matter how complex it is. It can also transform the input into target data types and throw away unneeded columns. Glue scripts are very forgiving and can adapt to changes in the structure of the input and output data. You can further customize Glue scripts using an intuitive graph-based user interface in the console or you can edit the scripts directly yourself. And once your data is loaded into Snowflake, you can use its powerful analytics capabilities to analyze your customer purchase data and gain insights that can help you improve your business. Now, ELT or Extract, Load and Transform is a newer data integration process that is similar to ETL, 
but with one key difference. Data is transformed after it is loaded into the target system. ELT is often used with cloud data warehouse and data lakes, which have the processing power to transform large amounts of data quickly. ELT can also be used to accelerate data integration projects by eliminating the need to develop and test complex data transformation rules upfront. ELT can be faster than ETL, especially for large datasets. It is more flexible than ETL as data transformation can be done on the fly. In general, ETL is a good choice for products where data transformation is complex, data quality and data governance are important, or performance is critical. ELT is a good choice for projects where speed and flexibility are important and data transformation is relatively simple. Or the target system is a cloud data warehouse or data lake such as Snowflake. AWS Glue is a serverless data integration service that supports both ETL and ELT workflows. In ETL mode, AWS Glue extracts data from source systems, transforms it using Apache Spark and loads it into target systems such as Amazon S3, Amazon Redshift or Amazon DynamoDB. In ETL mode, you need to clean and normalize data from multiple sources before loading it into a data warehouse. You need to apply complex data transformation rules such as aggregating data or generating new features. And you also need to enforce data quality and data governance rules such as ensuring that all the data is in consistent format or that certain values are not allowed. In ELT mode, you need to integrate data from variety of sources including cloud data lakes and data warehouses. You need to perform simple data transformations such as filtering or converting data types. And you need to integrate data quickly and flexibly so that you can start analyzing it sooner. In ELT mode, AWS Glue extracts data from source systems and loads it directly into target system such as Amazon S3 or Amazon Redshift. The data can be then transformed on demand within the target system using SQL or Apache Spark. The best way to decide which mode to use is to consider the specific requirements of your data integration project. If you need to perform complex data transformations or enforce data quality and governance rules, then ETL mode is a good choice. If you need to integrate data quickly and flexibly, or if you are using a cloud data warehouse or data lake that supports on-demand data transformation, then ELT mode is a good choice. You can also use both ETL and ELT modes in the same data integration project. For example, you might use ETL mode to perform complex data transformations on a small subset of your data and then use ELT mode to load the rest of your data into a data lake or data warehouse for analysis. Today, ETL and ELT are being used in conjunction with other data technologies such as big data lakes and AI. For example, they can be used to extract and transform data from a variety of sources into a data lake, where it can be analyzed using AI tools to identify insights and trends.